Have you ever wondered why some people seem to accumulate wealth effortlessly while others struggle? Well, it's not always about having a high income or inheriting a fortune. The real magic lies in financial literacy, understanding money, how it works, and how to make it work for you. Now, if you're thinking, where do I start? Allow me to introduce a game changer. The book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Kiyosaki's book is a treasure trove of financial knowledge, breaking down complex concepts into simple, digestible lessons. Its main theme, financial education. The difference between the wealthy and the struggling often boils down to understanding money, investing and wealth building principles. And that's what Rich Dad Poor Dad aims to teach. So strap in folks, let's dive into the wisdom of Robert Kiyosaki and uncover the secrets of wealth building. The tale of two dads, one rich and one poor, sets the stage for this financial saga. In this tale, each dad's unique philosophy and attitude towards money and wealth form the bedrock of their financial decision making. Let's delve into these contrasting perspectives. First we have the poor dad, a man of traditional thought and modest means. He believes in the classic mantra of study hard, get good grades and find a secure job. His approach to money is rooted in fear and ignorance. He views money as a stressor, a necessary evil that must be managed. His financial decisions are often reactionary, driven by immediate needs rather than long-term growth. For him, wealth is a distant dream, a luxury that is often out of reach. On the other hand, the rich dad marches to a different beat. He sees money not as a burden, but as a tool. His philosophy is characterized by a deep understanding of financial literacy. He knows the importance of investing in assets, taking calculated risks, and generating passive income. He doesn't shy away from money, he embraces it, using it strategically to accumulate wealth. These contrasting philosophies aren't just about money, they reflect broader attitudes towards life. The poor dad, bound by fear and uncertainty, is stuck in a cycle of financial struggle. The rich dad, guided by knowledge and courage, propels himself towards financial freedom. The outcomes of their financial decisions are just as contrasting. The poor dad despite his hard work remains trapped in the rat race paycheck to paycheck. The rich dad with his entrepreneurial spirit and savvy investments continues to grow his wealth, living a life of abundance and freedom. This tale of two dads isn't just a story it's a lesson. It teaches us that our mindset towards money and our financial education can significantly influence our financial destiny. It shows us that wealth isn't just about making money, it's about understanding how money works and using it to our advantage. The difference is clear, mindset and education play a crucial role in wealth accumulation. In the world of finance, understanding assets and liabilities can make or break your wealth. This is a principle that author Robert Kiyosaki emphasizes in his renowned book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Let's break it down. First, what are assets and liabilities? Kiyosaki defines an asset as something that puts money in your pocket. This could be a rental property, stocks, bonds, or a part of a business that generates income. On the other hand, a liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. This could be a car payment, a mortgage, or credit card debt. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, isn't my house an asset? Well, in traditional finance, yes, a house is considered an asset. However, Kiyosaki offers a different perspective. He suggests that if your house is taking money out of your pocket every month in mortgage payments, property taxes, and maintenance costs, then it's acting more like a liability. So why does this matter? The key to wealth creation, according to Kiyosaki, is to build assets and reduce liabilities. By accumulating assets, you create streams of income that work for you, even when you're not working. This is what Kiyosaki refers to as making your money work for you, rather than you working for your money. On the flip side, by minimizing liabilities, you reduce the outflow of your hard-earned cash. This doesn't mean you should never take on liabilities. Some liabilities, like a mortgage for a rental property, can lead to an increase in assets. The trick is to understand the difference and to manage them wisely. The concept may seem simple, but its impact is profound. By focusing on building assets and reducing liabilities you can fundamentally shift your financial trajectory. This shift can lead to financial freedom, a state where your assets generate enough income to cover your expenses. Remember, it's not about how much you earn, it's about how much you keep and grow. This statement embodies the essence of Kiyosaki's philosophy. So, start today. Evaluate your assets and liabilities and begin your journey towards financial independence. What if your money worked for you even while you sleep? Now that's a question that could change the course of your financial journey. This is the power of passive income. Passive income is the money you earn with minimal ongoing effort. 
It's about setting up revenue streams that continue to generate profit even when you're not actively working on them. It's like having employees who never sleep, never take a break, and never ask for a raise. Sounds dreamy, right? Well, it's more achievable than you might think. Imagine a writer who pens a best-selling novel. After the initial effort of writing and publishing, every time a copy of that book sells, the author earns royalties. That's passive income. Or consider a savvy investor who purchases shares in a profitable company. When that company pays out dividends, the investor earns income without lifting a finger. That's the power of passive income. But it's not just about making money while you sleep, it's about financial freedom. Passive income allows you to break free from the constraints of a traditional 9-to-5 job. It gives you the flexibility to pursue your passions, to spend time with your loved ones, to travel the world or to simply enjoy a little extra downtime. It's about creating a life that's not ruled by the clock. It's important to understand that passive income doesn't mean no work. It often requires an initial investment of time, money or both. But once these income streams are set up, they can provide a steady flow of income with minimal additional effort. The power of passive income lies in its potential to multiply. One stream of passive income is good, but multiple streams are even better. They can create a safety net, diversify your income, and increase your financial stability. Passive income is the key to freedom and flexibility. It's the secret weapon of the wealthy. So why not start exploring ways to make your money work for you? After all, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your finances. This adage rings especially true in the world of wealth building. The importance of financial education cannot be understated as it lays the foundation for understanding and navigating the complex maze of financial decisions that life throws our way. Just as a carpenter wouldn't dream of building a house without first understanding the basics of architecture, you shouldn't dream of building wealth without a solid understanding of financial principles. This understanding is what separates the wealthy from the rest. It's not about how much you earn but how well you manage, invest, and grow what you earn. Take the example of the rich dad in our story. He didn't have a high-profile job or a string of degrees to his name, but he had something more valuable, a profound understanding of financial principles. He prioritized financial education over traditional education. He understood that knowledge about money is more valuable than money itself. He knew that the key to wealth wasn't in the earning, but in the managing. He understood the importance of assets, the danger of liabilities, and the power of passive income. These weren't just concepts to him. They were tools that he used to build his wealth. Financial education isn't just about learning to budget or understanding interest rates. It's about learning the language of money. It empowers you to make informed decisions, avoid financial pitfalls, and ultimately, build wealth. It's about understanding the difference between working for money and having your money work for you. In a world that revolves around money, financial illiteracy is a handicap. It's like trying to navigate a ship without a compass. You might get lucky and reach your destination but the odds are against you. Financial education is not a luxury, it's a necessity for anyone who wants to build wealth. It's the key that opens the door to financial freedom. It's the tool that turns money into wealth. And it's the shield that protects you from financial disasters. So equip yourself with this powerful tool and take control of your financial future. So, what can we learn from the rich dad and the poor dad? Well, we can take away four key lessons that can change our financial lives. First, financial literacy is not an option. It's a necessity. It's the understanding of how money works, how to make it, and how to manage it. Second, it's not just about earning money, but building assets. Assets are investments that put money into your pocket, like real estate, stocks, or a business. Third, passive income can be a game changer. It's income that requires little to no effort, freeing up your time and energy for other pursuits. And finally, financial education should be a priority. It's not something that can be outsourced or ignored. It is your responsibility to educate yourself about finances. Remember, the journey to financial freedom starts with financial literacy. So, equip yourself with knowledge, take action, and watch your wealth grow. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more summaries on a wide range of topics including finance, self-improvement, health and wellness, history, and so much more.